In January, a message from an extraterrestrial source was picked up at the Parks Observatory in Australia. This growth is amazing. The decision was made to terminate the experiment. He's breaking out! You created a monster, now you want us to kill it. She'll kill anyone that gets in her way. I wouldn't hurt you. Oh, God. guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Scream Factory's newest release, Species, on 4K. But before we do that, if you guys are into 4K reviews, Blu-ray reviews, movie, TV show, some video games and some tech along the way, consider subscribing because that's what we like to do here on this channel. And we like to build the community. So jumping right into it, Species came out in 1995, directed by Ronald Donaldson. So Species is a sci-fi horror film, they consider it, and I mean, I wouldn't say it's really a horror film, but in fact, actually, I remember, this is a very, I don't remember if this is the actual VHS cover, but I remember going in a blockbuster when I was a kid, and I could vividly remember so many of the, the iconic VHS covers. That's one thing I feel like we lost to the past, is just like really cool artwork on the on the covers and stuff. And I remember the VHS cover for Species, and that one always stood out to me. And for, I just, I never saw it as a kid for some reason. It came out in 95, so I was pretty young at that time. But I never ended up seeing it, but I just, I remember that cover. I remember the, the Species um, title and the green and stuff, and I remember it was very very cool VHS cover but anyway so it's a it's a sci-fi horror film basically they uh, we put out a signal out into space for some sort of alien race to for to contact them where we're trying to contact extraterrestrial life or something like that you know it's a sci-fi movie something like that and uh, so we get some sort of transmission back with a way to um, splice alien life with human life. I and I, I, I even looked it up on Wikipedia and watching the film. I don't really know where they got it from. It I couldn't figure that part out. So anyway, there's a little girl in a like a glass ex examination uh, room and something goes wrong and they try to exterminate her and she escapes. So now the doctor who's been doing all the experiments and the testing on her so he hires a, a team of, they're not like FBI or cops, they're like some sort of special branch. And it's actually uh, Michael Madsen, Forrest Whitaker, Albert uh, Molina, and I forget who the other girl was. But it was a pretty cool cast. This is before Albert Molina was Doc Ock as, uh, in Spider-Man 2. This is, Ma Michael Madsen is in Reservoir Dogs, I, I believe he's Mr. White. And I also remember him as the dad in Free Willy with the really cool dually truck. Um, but so they are tasked with tracking her down and basically she she's some sort of alien fo uh, life form where she can, <clears throat> she has a rapid growth, um, everything, the age is accelerated. So she goes from being a little kid to a, a young woman within hours. So now she's the only species, she's the one of a kind, only of her species, and now she basically, for survival, she's trying to find a mate to reproduce and create more of these species. They, they didn't give her a name, so we're just going to call it a species, or an alien extraterrestrial life form. So she's, they're in LA, and she's going to these clubs, and she's observing people and learning. She learned how to drive by learn just watching somebody do it she's watching tv and figuring out how to communicate and she uh she goes to a club to try to find a mate and she can kind of sense if there's something wrong with the person so one guy had uh he was a diabetic so she deemed him not a worthy mate so she killed him and it was on on to the next guy so it was a pretty cool concept uh i this is a big matt movie i i, I really enjoy the the sci-fi stuff like this this is right up my alley 
and it was a fun watch. This is the first time I've ever seen it, and I really enjoyed it. So she's running around LA trying to find a mate, and she's going through all these different guys, and she takes a woman hostage, and it's a fun ride. Like, you should definitely check out the movie if you're into sci-fi. So she's learning at a rapid pace. She's, she's uh, growing. Well, no, I wouldn't say growing. She's aging, I guess. So she's she's in a rush to mate, to reproduce, to continue the species. Now, Forrest Whitaker's character, I, I think his name was Dan, and he's he has some sort of like he can sense or see the future almost. It was I I didn't really understand where that came from. So he's kind of can see where she's going or where she's been. So that's, they were using him as like the tracker to track her down. She's watching TV and she watches a, a hair dye commercial to change her look because they're all looking for her. So she changes her hair, she cuts it. So she looks a little bit different. So after she dyed her hair, they, they uh, actually, this is before they, she dyed her hair. So there was a car chase and she pretended, it's like she kind of staged her death. She even planted a, uh, like, cause she cut her, her thumb off with some pliers, and it grew, it grows right back. But she planted it in the car, faked it, uh, her death. She jumped out of the car as it was going down the hill. It exploded. They thought that she was dead, so they all celebrate. And she ended up changing her hair color. And then uh, Alfred Merlina's character ends up getting her pregnant because she sneaks into his hotel room. He doesn't realize it's her. He's just excited because this normally doesn't happen to him. He says. And uh, she's a good looking girl, so I mean, you know, I, I don't really fault him for that. <laughs> but uh, so she ends up getting pregnant and then killing him and then escaping into the basement down into the sewers where they had the final stand underground. Pretty much ends down there. And But it, the ending is pretty open ended because she gives birth and then they kill the, the kid and the, the mother, her. But a rat eats a piece of the body and then the rat starts to mutate and start and then you see it eat another rat, boom, credits. So it's kind of open ended. We don't really know what happens. It's up to your interpretation what you think happens. So I'm assuming some sort of mutation forms from that you know it's deep underground as the rat so it's probably gonna have some time to grow and reproduce but anyway I, I really enjoyed the movie I, I love sci-fi movies sci-fi horror um, it, it would well, I wouldn't really label it horror in my opinion maybe a young child would be a little uh, uneasy with it with some scenes because there's a CGI monster which doesn't really hold up that well but I, I would label it more of a sci-fi I'm gonna file it in my sci-fi section, not my horror section. But it was a great movie. I really enjoyed it. It was 95. Uh, I like that the, the seeing the old cars on the road and the old LA in the, in the 90, mid 90s. It actually kind of gave me an X-Files vibe because they're, like I said, they're not cops, but they were driving around in a Ford Taurus, which Scully and Mulder always drove around in the Ford Tauruses and X-Files. and. I thought that was pretty cool. I made that connection, and that's it. Kind of gave me an X Files vibe. So it was like it was almost like a Monster of the Week episode of X Files in a movie form, instead of an X Files TV show. And that's not a bad thing. It, it the Monster of the Week episodes of X Files, some of them were really great, and I think this was a really, really great Monster of the Week episode of X Files. That's how I would describe this movie. So in closing, like I said, I really enjoyed the movie itself but let's talk about the Scream Factory release of this 4k disc so in Scream Factory fashion we get a nice slip cover over your basic 4k HD box with the nice artwork you got all your information on the back and then same thing on the back of the slip cover now this does have three discs you have the movie on 4k you have the movie on Blu-ray and then you have all your special features on Blu-ray and I'll just read off the back of the box the features that are on Blu-ray so disc 3 Blu-ray is Afterbirth the Evolution of Species from Syl to Eve an interview with Natasha Hentress so that was the, the girl who played the, the monster alien it says H.R. Geiger at work. Now he was the guy who created the the alien beings. He was kind of 
behind the character design, and he also worked on the Aliens franchise, which is pretty cool. Hey guys, what are you doing? Hey guys. No, Daddy, Daddy's doing a video, you gotta... It's got the making of species, the origin concept, the discovery, designing a hybrid, an alternate ending, theatrical trailer, and still galleries. And then also on the Blu-ray disc, it had the Blu-ray disc is a new 4K stand, but it's downgraded to 1080p Blu-ray off the original camera negative. Uh, it's got an audio commentary with Natasha Hentridge, Michael Madsen, and Roger Donaldson. Audio commentary with Roger Donaldson, Steve Johnson, Richard Edlund, and Frank Muntz Mancuso Jr. So this is packed with bonus features and extras. Also, even the 4K disc has the audio commentary with all the actors, the makeup effects creator, and the visual effects supervisor Richard Unlin and producer Frank Mancuso Jr. So all of that's on the 4K as well. So this is an awesome release by Scream Factory. Now let's talk about the disc itself. The 4K disc itself, the visual presentation of this movie was absolutely incredible. I think it looked amazing. It has Dolby Vision, it has HDR, so it, it, it looks fantastic. And it's a new 4K scan from the original camera negative, so it looks great. Movies filmed on film back in the 90s, it, 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 it transfers so well to 4K. And Scream Factory does great jobs on the restorations. So this was a fantastic visual piece. As far as audio goes, it has a DTS HD Master Audio 5.1. So you get very good surround sound. It's not an Atmos track. It's a 5.1 and it still sounds great. You know, it there's not a ton of action, but there's enough where it deserves a surround soundtrack. And I think the Dolby 5.1 sounds just fine with this movie. But the, it, where it really shines is the visual quality. I think if you're if you have a nice TV and a, and a good player that's gonna uh, support Dolby Vision, this is a beautiful, beautiful disc. Uh, I, I can't compare it to the, an older Blu-ray because I didn't own it, but I can definitely highly recommend picking up this copy of Species on 4K because Screen Factory does fantastic work. There's so many extras on here. It's a beautiful slipcover. I love that. I love that iconic Species logo. I'm a big fan of that. Just that, that just burned in my brain from seeing it on the shelf at Blockbuster, and it just looked great. It sounded great. I had a great time. I love sci-fi. I had a great time with this movie and I will definitely put this in the rotation because I really enjoyed this. And if you're a fan of this movie, I can highly recommend picking this up. Well worth the money. So in closing, I would give this probably an eight out of 10. I had a great time with it. It's a, an amazing disc. It's a great package by Scream Factory. I can't recommend it more, highly enough. If you're a fan of the movie, I could definitely say go for it. It's worth the upgrade, I can guarantee it because there's no way the Blu-ray is gonna look as good as that 4K does, especially if you have a Dolby Vision capable TV and Blu-ray player. So with that being said, if you guys made it this far into the video, I just wanted to say thanks, we appreciate it. And if you like this video, consider giving us a like and a subscribe because that's the best way to help us out. But until next time, have a great rest of your day. All right guys, it's Monday morning, so you know what that means. It is time to spin the wheel. So John's not here today. I'm taking over for the wheel spin this week. And I just want to say thanks for everyone. I hope everyone had a great weekend. And we will spin this wheel now. George T. That is our winner for this week's Digital Code Giveaway. And George, if you want to reach out to us on... Facebook, Instagram, you can email us at Let's Talk Entertainment, ENTMT at gmail.com, or you can also reach out to us on Twitter, and we will get you that digital code of your choice from the ones we have selected here flashing on the screen. So, for any newcomers that's made it this far into the video, the way the digital code entry works on Fridays, we put a question in our video. And all you have to do is answer, so it's just a way to engage with the community. We talk about movies. This week we asked what everyone's favorite 80s horror or favorite 80s slasher movie was. 
and all you got to do is just comment your answer in the comment section and then you're entered into this wheel for our digital code giveaway and you get to pick from a bunch of the digital codes that we have had flashing on the screen and then when if you win you can email us and pick any of the codes and we will send you that digital code for that movie and you have that movie to enjoy forever or until they decide to close the digital library because that's why we like physical media here so I just wanted to thank everybody again for the 500 subscriber milestone that we just hit recently and we can't wait to hit a thousand but until next time guys have a great day Thank you.